It is a dance slash martial art and it's from Brazil. In the circle, we take two people who play capoeira, like one person attack and one person defend. It's like a game of chess. You have to learn music. You have to learn instrument, you have to sing, you have to learn Portuguese. In the capoeira, a lot of flow, flexibility, strength, you know, and creativity. At first, it appears to be a choreographed dance routine accompanied by high-energy Afro-Brazilian music. But a closer watch reveals much more. This is capoeira, a combat game that was developed by African slaves as a form of self-defense during the Portuguese colonial rule of Brazil in the early 1800s. After the end of slavery in 1888, it was increasingly used by miscreants for unlawful activities and consequently outlawed in 1892. Songs and swings were then added as masquerade when it was practiced on the streets. We are not doing the same thing. Of course, we are following them, but we are not doing the same thing. It, the techniques change, the movement change, you know. Right now, it's, it's called Hoda. Which, is, which means wheel, circle. The people play music. The berimba is the instrument with the string. It's the main instrument. Berimba, drum, that tambourine, it's called pandero. That circle, like an orchestra, and they charge the circle. Keep the energy in the circle. That's why we call it bataria, which means battery. Over the years, it has become sophisticated and modern. Its popularity growing, with it being practiced in over 160 countries. In India too, it has about 3,500 students through in-school curriculums and nine training centers in the three Indian cities of Mumbai, New Delhi and Jaipur, coexisting with traditional Indian martial art forms. Kalri Payetu, it's a mother of martial art. All the martial arts base comes from there. Mm -hmm. Different between Kalri Payetu and Kapuera, I would say music, because music is like medicine, you know. And for me, it's, it's crazy because I have never thought I'm going to sing in my life. It is a martial art form that is practiced in a non-violent and non-combative manner. Niyati Patwardhan, a lawyer by profession, has been learning this dance fight music sport combination for the past two years. Somehow doing capoeira has, uh, for the first time in my life, made me catch a beat. So I think that's what's crazy. And I actually go back home feeling uh, much more pumped up and ready to do things and not curl into bed, which is crazy because you're just exerting so much. But your spirits get lifted so much. Maybe it's the music, maybe it's the community, but you just get home recharged. The ban on capoeira was revoked in the 1940s by the Brazilian government. And since then, it has captured the imagination of many around the world, including 29-year-old Shiva, who started seven years ago and is expanding its reach here in India. It's not doing an art or doing cool things. For me, it's a lifestyle. And I'm still baby in capoeira. You know, I'm nothing, but I'm still learning what is missing.